Welcome to Naresh I Technologies. This is Ramchandar. Especially in this video, I am going to develop one program on top of file output stream. Now, in the last video, I did develop one program on file output stream with the support of one constructor, the constructor having parameter like what here file object. Now, today, especially in this video, I am going to use some other constructors of file output stream, I am going to introduce concentrate. So, without taking support of file class, how to develop program on file output stream? File output stream FIS equal to new file output stream. Okay. Now, here I am taking like name, here I am taking like file name directly test1 dot txt. Now, here I am writing like a public static void main. Now, it will throwing one exception, that exception name is throws file not found exception, nice. Later, we are going to develop, we are going to write to some values, fos dot write of byte array. So, here I am taking like a new byte array and I am taking like 100, 97 as well as what here 100. Now, if you observe right method throwing what I O exception, once I am clicking on add throws declaration automatically see here after throws keyword what happen observe, after throws keyword what happen observe, file not found exception will be replaced with what here I O exception. So, what is the meaning here? Basically, these type of uh, classes, these type of exception classes technically called as fully checked exception. Fully checked exception classes means, if any one class is throwing in the method, automatically all its subclasses also going to throw. Nothing but IO exception is the super class of uh, file not found exception. If you are throwing the IO exception, automatically we are throwing exception related to what? File not found exception. Now, observe here, let me write fis dot write of fis dot write of 32 and after that fis dot write of fis dot write of new byte array and here I am taking like oh, what is this 65, 66, 67, 68, 69 and 70. And here I am taking like uh, from 2, I am taking how many elements here? 4 elements. Now, finally, let me execute this program. If you execute this program, we are not printing anything on the console. So, do not worry. But uh, let me refresh our project. Let me refresh our project. Then we can understand. Then we can see test1.txt. In the test1.txt, we are getting the output like what here? DAD and CDEF. So, here file in the file output stream we can take the support of what in the file input stream we can take the support of what here file class as well as we can take the support of what here st string name directly if you are if you are using file file is coming in the last video if you are using the file file is communicating with what here test.txt so indirectly we are placing the data into test.txt in this program also what happen if you are using file output stream basically most of the people telling like a file output stream itself creating test1.txt. If the file is not existed, file output stream itself creating the file. How file output stream itself creating the file? File output stream internally using one more class. What is that class? New file. Whatever the name we are giving, that name is handover to what your file class. So, indirectly who will create the file class? Indirectly who will creating the file? That is what your java.io. file class only understand or not. Now, let me uh, execute this program one more time. If you are executing this program one more time, what type of data are you getting? You are getting same DAD and CDF. Already DAD and CDF is there. Again, we are executing means again we are adding. Then what happened? Two times we need to see DAD and CDF. Then what happened here? Only one time printing. That means, if you are executing the program, same program multiple times, old data will be replaced with the new data. So, our intention is, I want old data as well as what? 
I want to old data as well as what here new data. Then what can I do? Very simply, I'm going to write. I'm going to write what here. Here I'm writing like uh, true. Here I'm writing like what here true. Let me execute this program one more time. And now I'm writing like what here true here. Yes, true here. Then if you are executing this program and observe the output, then what happened? How many times dad and CDEF is available? Two times. That means new data will be appended. New data will be appended to what here? Old data. Very nice. Now, one more concept. One more constructor is also there. One more constructor. Now, control C, control V. This is what here? True. In the last video, we did seen. What is that? File object here. File object here. What is that file f equal to new file of what is that file name test.txt this is the last video related information. Now let me comment all this stuff. So we seen we seen first three constructor up to now we seen first three constructor up to now file output stream with the file object file output stream with the string file output stream with the string with the true and file output stream with the file output stream with the false. So, will you please uh, before executing this program will you please concentrate uh, the data which is available in the text one dot uh, txt. Now, let me execute this program if you are executing this program again what happened will you please open test one dot js txt then what happened two times we have previously dad and cdfe cdef now in this time how many times we have only one time that means old data will be replaced with what here new data itself old data will be replaced with what here new data itself now observe guys we we can use file output stream with the file object file output stream with the file descriptor object and file output stream with the string file output stream with what here true and uh, string with the true and file output stream with what here string with the false. So, here you need to observe one thing here we need to observe one thing that is file with the false file name with the false only file name will doing what are same thing what is that old data will be replaced with what here new data. Now, let me do one thing let me comment at this code. So, I am using what here right now I am using file. Now, yes, now observe guys file output stream what I am writing here f this is not file this is f here yeah f. So, what happened f is communicating with what test.txt. So, if you are executing the program what happened this data will go and place it into test.jst test.txt open the test.txt what is our data our data is what here cd ef test.txt now let me write let me write f comma f comma true f comma true and execute this program then open test.txt then what happened here then what happened two times the data will be printed two times the data will be what here printed now one more program one more program. So, what is this? Let me comment this line. Let me comment this line and uh, copy and paste here. What is this? This is what here false. Now, let me execute this program. Now, open the test.txt. Then, what happen here? Old data will be replaced with uh, new data. So, like this, we can use file output stream constructor in multiple ways only with the file only with the string name string with the true string with the false and uh, file with the true file with the false. So, lot of ways uh, we can use what is that file itself ok. So, I hope you enjoy this video for more videos please subscribe Naresh IT channel thank you.